Dog. All right, let's get to it. What's happening, party people? Jim Burton's The Nightmare Before It's Christmas. still happening. I'm still Oogies playing this. Revenge. What a bad game. All right. Welcome back. I was almost late to the stream today. Yeah, that's where we were. Yeah, that's right. We were trying to catch up to where I was before. That's right. Um, is it gonna? Okay. Right on, right on, right on. Let me get that pulled up. Is that working for me? Oh, that is not working. For me. If I click on that, better. All right, what the hell was happening? Um, oh yeah, we were trying to go up to the prof to the doctor's uh thing. Yeah, you know. Oh, this is um. That's the button. Killer. So now we can enter. Maybe I can use this rock. Take it, maze. Smash this junk and shut down the machine. Yeah, okay. Uh, it seems... I say it seems straightforward. I guarantee you it's gonna be a goddamn nightmare. I just jumped down? Weird. How do I get back up? Okay. That's how I get back up. Who's the dead motherfucker hitting me with things? What was I? Oh. That's right. I was also saving up for the whip upgrade, or not the the soul robber. Soul robber. Yeah. Cool. Oh god, he moves so slow. Is this not junk I can also destroy? Looks identical to the other stuff, man. Okay, so the rock is still there. I'm just gonna run through. How do I get over there? Okay, I see. Uh, I'm just gonna grab a new, new rock. Cause that's a big fuck off coin. I want that. I want the big stupid coin. That's pretty good. Um, am I able to backtrack? At all? It, it's <sighs> my problem with the layout of this game is I cannot tell if these chapters that they're giving me, like I'm on chapter seven, what does that mean? Because, like, it seems to be more of an open world. Like, I can go back to these other places. Right? Like, in the last mission, I had to go back to the town for uh, Igor. Can I still go back to the town? Because I need to buy the Soul Robber upgrade. 
Okay. So the chapters mean nothing. It's just mission objectives. It's just telling me what my new mission objective is. Which is not helpful in the least because the map sucks. The map looks nice, I will say, and it's very good at communicating the vibes. However, as a map, it's garbage. You'll always be our hero, Jack. She sounds like she's dying. I know I say that every time. This will take all that screaming to the next level. <laughs> oh, she's so into it. Eh. <laughs> You're always welcome back, Jack. I don't know. I don't actually know what that upgrade did. I was not. I can't read. I'm illiterate. Action. Ah, oh, soul robber. Cool. Okay, but what does level two do? Yeah. Wait, soul spin. Rotate the left analog stick. Spin Soul Robert to block. Oh. Full rotation square. That's the block? There's a block in this game and it's horrendous? Rotate the left analog stick and press square. Spin Soul Robert to block enemy attacks can also be used as a counterattack. Okay, so trying mash triangle, mash square, rotate square, hold for a while. Okay, yeah. Taunt, directional button. Oh, yeah, I snap it like a whip. Taunt enemies into oogie mode to instantly charge. I don't know what oogie mode means. I don't know what any of this means. Soul cycle. Okay, so you hold the triangle like soul charge. Then mash it. Try to hit enemies, make it a combo. Soul jump, okay. Pumpkin gauge, that's just my health. The terrible rhythm game. Okay, so Soul Robber, it looks like Pumpkin King and Santa Jack. Why? Why are they not... Why are they not set up, like, in the order in which you get them? Why isn't it, like, Pumpkin King, then Santa Jack? It's not even, like, an... I know I'm being... I know I'm, like, being really nitpicky, but, like, it's not even in, like, alphabetical order if Santa Jack is second. There's a lot I have questions. There's a lot about this game that I have questions about. You know what I mean. Index. Where can I? Only town residents. Hanging men. Clown. Sally. Zero. Hanging men. Nope. Okay. Exit. Well, I guess we'll just have to trial and error. See what the new soul robber gives us. Okay. Where, where are we? Why? Is... Interesting. I was about to ask why it's called the Acid Works. And then, so this is, I guess, a lake of acid? Which, like, I get, but also... What? Why? Are you trying to give flavor to it? Ah, fuck, did the enemies respawn? Oh, 
Oh, that feels bad to do. Rotate and... That's the block. Oh. Oh, that's back. Um. Shit. If that respawns... If... Cool. Is it still worth 275? A hundred shit. I mean, that's still worth something, I guess. What's over here? What's along the third route? Oh, that just circles back around. Can't get there from here. Alright. Bust that shit. Boy, this is riveting gameplay. Thank you, Capcom. Now off to the doctor's lab. Oh, fuck. Um. I didn't know this was gonna be timed. Uh. No, they did say that. They did say it was gonna be timed. I'm not gonna have a lot of time. I gotta get. I gotta fucking schmoof. Okay, so it's at 110. Is it gonna keep counting down on me? Because there was also another thing. Okay, guess I can't go in there. Oh, we're good. It's chill. I said it's chill. I said it's chill. Oh, I died. It's not chill. Yeah, no, that's great that they, uh, that they timed that. Was this my first death? Nine, I've got to hurry. Seven. I am the pumpkin king. <laughs> Why is, I'm sorry. Why is the count that, why is the like continue screen an anxiety inducing countdown? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Awful. Okay, um. If I go in this other door. Just want to take a look before I activate the countdown. But also, I love the timing of that. The pitching machine up top. Like, the second I get up, knocks me back down. Um, uh, okay. I don't know what this is trying to do. Oh, 
It doesn't sound right. The music sounds so wrong. Okay, I don't know what that was. Yo, I got a huge bolt. Just like Ratchet and Clank. Oh, that was neat. Like, that cover of that song sounds bad. Can I move it? Oh, yeah? No, not on that. No, not on what? I guess move this away. Alright. I guess I won't worry about the frogs. I guess I won't worry about what's going on with the frogs. I'm not worried about the frogs. They're, you know, they're just guys. They're just dudes. They're just little dudes. No. Okay, wait. After seeing with... No, I can't get up there. I, I was going to say, after seeing what the front door of the professor's house, or the doctor's house looks like, I want to, like run up there and like take a look around because it looks like there's like a full wrap around like there might be something hidden behind the building i can't do that because it's got the big uh fuck off uh laser which is the whole reason i'm coming around here is to turn off the laser Let's see if I can... 370? Oh, that is an absolute crapshoot. Wait a minute. Is it really that random for how much that coin is worth? That might be worth farming, I guess. No, get closer. Thanks, Capcom. Or THQ. No, THQ did the Scooby Doo game. It was Capcom who did this. Plus that, and then it's going to be on a timer. Now off to the doctor's. I need to hurry. Alright, don't worry about the door. Just run, despite the fact- Ah, shit. Cool, that was a waste of my GD time. So... There's going to be two dudes out here. The, my problem is I can't fucking see the ground well enough. Good. Good. That's going to explode.
Yeah, let me... Can I fuck up? Oh, I can. Nope, that's on the other side. I cannot break that box. Looks like there's something. I'm not gonna worry about it. Just get in the door before I get my ass blasted. So there's something on the other side, around that corner. Around that corner man hiding in the trash can. Hey, Shock. Think you can reach me? Try it. It's fun. I know I'm having a ball. I don't want to crush your spirit, Jack. Get your body. Cool. Oh, that, that's a soundbite that brought me back. I don't think you're gonna make it. That, that was like hiding in the recesses of my body. Okay. So. I, was, I was just thinking like, okay. I'll get down there and wait for the ball to come down. Oh, those green ones are little heels. Sick. Once again, they're really doing a lot to, uh... They're really doing a lot to reinvent this uh, gameplay loop, aren't they? It's the classic ball down the ramp. Now, is this the point where three of them start showing up? I'm just gonna let it go past once and double check. So that's one. Interesting. One. It's not like on a weird, like, one and then two and then one and then two. Okay. So we'll go. We'll go now. Alright, I see a door up ahead that is... Why is it nailed shut? Can't open that. They specifically, they specifically gave us a new power-up with the fire, and they showed us the mechanic that goes with the fire, like, yeah, if you see doors that are boarded up, you could burn it and get it through. I feel explicitly lied to. It's right there. playing a trick stop helping oogie i mean it okay just arrest those children jack when will you learn these kids suck you can't just be like hey knock it off it's okay to arrest children jack what's in here 
This feels like someplace I shouldn't be. Igor's room. What? Oh. Collect four of these. Oh, okay. I was like, why did it go? Oh, it's doing the... It's doing the thing that I hate. Every time I get a... Every time I collect an item that I've seen before, it's like, oh, we're gonna go to your menu. Show you the thing you just picked up that you definitely already know about. I like the twin creatures, though, like Trick and Treat. That's fun. Yeah, Trick or Treat. It's great. Yeah, sure. That was pretty cool. Son of a... What happened? Okay. Is this the boss fight that I hate? Clear time. Combo. No. Damage. No. Exclamation mark. Wait. Count. What? No way. Nightmare rank. So... Excellent. Two S's. That should be an A. I'm not tilted, but damn. You can't get any oh, ranks are A or higher. Yeah, I'm not getting any of these, let's be real. Next chapter should be... Oh, pardon me. Should be a bad boss fight. Dr. Finkelstein, why are you doing this? Ah, Jack, I see you managed to make it here. It's not him. You've been busy, Jack. I think it's time for you to rest. <gasps> Oogie switched your brain. Shall we begin? I think you'll like this device. I made it especially for you. Who is the original voice actor, William Hickey? Like, that is not hit. Like, I have to switch the doctor's real brain back to save him. Let's see. If I open his head from behind, then get in front of him and throw his real brain in. Yes, that should work. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. I know. I remember this boss fight distinctly because I hate it. Uh. Come on, open. Oh, 
Alright. Yeah, so I remember all these people that you're hurting. Oh good doctor, it's disconcerting. thinking is all Like I I'm like without words. There we go. Doctor, you've got to control yourself. This has changed boy since you've been away without I'm sorry I'm not being very articulate. Oh, I thought I was far enough away. So yeah, this boss fight is just like a bunch of bad times. Oh, I thought I got it. No, I just died. Cool. What was I saying? I just got hit with... I hate this. I just... Entering this boss fight. I got hit with a wave of, like, frustration I have not felt in, like I said, like a decade. Like, this is probably the last time I played this game was like a decade ago. Dr. Finkelstein. Why oh, I was talking this? about the voice acting. Ah. Like, Jess Harnell has such a distinct voice, and it works for so many different things. But in trying to be a sound-alike for, uh, like William Hickey or anybody trying to be a sound alike it it's just him like I can't hear anybody but him oh his thing is closed now The best bot, right? Oh, it's just the best. Is that open? No, that's not open. Yeah, the, the second I started this boss fight, I just got hit with a wave of frustration that I have not felt in like a decade. Nope, that closed up. Oh, that didn't go in? Cool. Cool. It's amazing that Capcom can make great games that people love, and then this. Avoid everything. Come on. Oh, 
Okay, I think the best time... This is a beautifully crafted boss battle. It's not just a series of things happening. There we go. There we go. That only took me two tries. I remember being stuck on that for so long as a kid. Wow. So, oh, St. Patrick's Day? All right. That's a weird door. I'm sorry, Jack. I never imagined my brain would be replaced and the town deceived. Doctor, the St. Patrick's Day door. Indeed, that is a holiday door. Hmm. <gasps> Jack, what's today's date? Why, today is December 24th. Oh, no. It's almost Christmas. Wait, this takes place on Christmas Eve? I wonder what's happening with the Christmas That's wonderful. Let's hope is this like the one year soon. anniversary I need of the to first movie? The pumpkin patch, but it won't be easy. Because Oogie's monsters have possessed the pumpkins at the Christmas Eve. Blocking anyone did I, what did I say? Did I not say Christmas Eve? I know. We'll scare those monsters. Did I blank and say something stupid? Give me just a moment. Is the doctor himself again? Yes. He's making a device to help us defeat Oogie's army. Jack. Do you think this might be helpful too? No, What's not in the this? least. Oh, is it the Santa Jack? <laughs> it's Sandy's costume. Oh, oh, that outfit really suits you. I completed the scare device. If I told you what's in it, though, that would ruin the surprise. <laughs> Hide this in your sandy bag and use it to stun Oogie's monsters. Ice attack? Okay, so we have a fire and an ice attack, and then we got our goo whip. Yeah, so the reason... I love the idea that the boss fights give you the holiday doors. That's really fun for me. Like, I love that, like, Sally gives you the Valentine's Day door because she's the love interest. But considering that the doctor is a man of science, that's he has, like, two defining traits about him. Overbearing father, mad scientist. As a mad scientist, because, like, the four-leaf clover, like, the, the symbol of St. Patrick's Day is a symbol of luck. Like, that's, that's you know, what the four-leaf clover's about. As a man of science, I feel like Finkelstein Finkelstein wouldn't believe in luck like that. I feel like this door is just the antithesis of what he is instead of complimenting his, you know, what he's about. Odd. It's in honor of when Finkelstein drove the snakes out of Ireland. Absolutely. He he wheeled in in his rascal scooter and they went absolutely ballistic it represents how he is an alcoholic if you could have a giant wooden holiday door of your own like hang on your wall or which one would you want oh man like a giant fuck off holiday door i would i would replace my front door with the thanksgiving door just a big turkey it wouldn't fit my door frame but i would just have a turkey door and never explain it People would be like, what's going on there? I'd be like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And just move on. So what are you talking about? The door. I'm like, yeah, it's it's on the wall. Or it's hanging in the door frame. What about it? It's, it's shaped like a bird. What? No, it's, it's a door, man. What's wrong with you? I'd gaslight everybody with my big fuck off turkey door. All right. Uh, Actually, yeah, let's go to action real quick and check out this. Oh, cool. We don't even get to check out the thing we just got in a cutscene. Great game, Capcom. Clear time. Combo. Oh, wow. Damage. Did great. How do you... Exclamation marks count. No, okay. Nightmare. 
can get a tutorial in like 30 seconds. I am mad about this. I am mad about the- I don't care if I get the rank or not. I don't care if I get all A's and unlock the special figure of Finkelstein or whatever. So, time it took me to do it. 11 minutes. I did that on my second try. So to get an A, presumably, they want you to get it first try as soon as possible. Simultaneously, they want you to hit a bunch of the doctor's stuff to rank up that combo meter. Taking up more time, when it already seems to be so, like, rigid on the time. This level alone, just, or this boss fight level, chapter 8, just seems like such an insurmountable, like, antithesis. Like, the time, combo, damage. It seems so at odds with itself. Because it's giving you no, like, leeway. It's giving you no extra time to do the damage combo and count. Considering I did it the second try. That is ridiculous to me. It's not even Finkelstein. The Finkelstein boss fight does not give us the Finkel fig. It doesn't give us the, the, the Finkel figure. Absolutely incredible. They want you to smash the doctor's stuff to charge the song gauge. I forgot that the song gauge exists. I'm going to be real. I forgot about the worst part about this game is that it's... It has the musical element. Uh, let's save game. It's not that I hate rhythm games either. Like, before that comes up, I love rhythm games done well. Like, it's not to, like, the beat of anything in the song. It's just throwing them at you in, like, a perfectly spaced sequence. Damn, bro, you've grown to hate this game so much since last time I tuned in. I... Here's the thing. As the movie this is based on is like one of my favorites, just like absolutely to the beat of the song. I guess I just zone out and not even listen to the bad, not Danny Elfman music. My bad. Uh, I I hold this game. Well, I hold the I hold Nightmare Before Christmas in such a high regard as like it's such like a fun movie it's such a fun animated movie that doesn't fall into into any of like the disney pitfalls despite the fact that like touchstone is gone now and this movie's technically owned by disney now like it's such a fun subversive animated movie only tim burton could have done it like as a film major it is so unique to me for a kid's movie so like shitty and i guess it's because capcom also made this game it isn't it wasn't made by some shovelware company it was made by a reputable company that is known for making good games with like that you know feel good to play you know like the devil may cry games those feel good to play you know like marvel versus capcom that game feels good this game does not feel good to play this game at a lot of times feels very much at odds with itself. The production designer for the movie worked on this game. That's great. Expanding like the world, you know, um, being like, okay, if we have to put space, like the acid works between Finkelstein's lab and the town, like, okay, we got to put a level in here. What's here. And they put like the river of acid, the little power plant, like, that's great. Expand the world. Show me what it is. But it could have been so much better. <laughs> I guess I guess I'm just upset at what this game could have been. Like, I want this game to recapture the magic of the movie for me. But that's like a rose-tinted glasses type nostalgia from when I was like six. That's like never coming back again. Pumpkin Patch Possession. So according to my save that I accidentally wrote over when I started this playthrough, this is where I was at before. This is completely new territory for me. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Can I talk to people? 
Igor, nothing. Oh, select button. What's what's going on? Repossession. Press square to toss left trigger to sprint. Left to toss L2 to spring. Hold longer to throw, throw further, understandable. Surprises enemies and returns them to their normal states. Okay, so am I going to get hit with like invincible enemies and this turns them invincible you're gonna love where it goes the second half opens way up well from what you told me there's like what 24 chapters i can only imagine we're eventually going to go back to christmas town if we if they if the production designer for this like if the people behind like the world building if we can get, like, a world for each of the doors, like, if shit is messed up in, like, the Valentine's Day world and we get to go to Valentine's Day world and experience love through the lens of, like, Tim Burton's macabre stop motion, that would be wonderful. If we got to view St. Patrick's Day through... Oh, is this door still... It wasn't nailed shut in the cutscene. She was fine. She 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 came out and was like, "What's going on?" This is great. I love backtracking. Where am I going? Before I even like get back, once I get to the town, what what am I doing? Enter the patch, scare the monsters out of the possessed pumpkin. That is... Other side of town. Okay, so I can just start walking that way, I guess. Oh! Is that death? Oh no, this is actually what I wanted, okay. And now there should be a little hidden something back here. Yeah, there's no need to go down there now. Did I miss it? Was that only available during the timed portion of getting into the building? Lame. I don't want people to feel like I'm spiteful. It's it's disappointment. I'm not trying to be spiteful towards the game. I don't hate the game. If I hated the game, I wouldn't still be playing it. I would have done that one day and found something else to play. It is absolutely not spite. It's not hate. I am genuinely enthralled by the world of Nightmare Before Christmas. I just wanted to find the game that keeps giving. Keeps giving in what respects? <laughs> if you mean it keeps giving me heartburn, correct. Green slime. Oh yeah, I love when it gives me the sticky icky. I love when when Jack's little goo just gets everywhere. Pumpkin. Okay, I don't. I don't need any of that stuff. Oh, uh, what about over here? <laughs> always be our hero, Jack. Goomy. Ray, he slimed me. Repossession. It's like three hundred. Sure, I don't know what it does, but it's cheap. This will take all that screaming Up to the next level. <laughs> Upgrading it is cheap, so try to find everything in this game is stupid hard. I keep You're so back, one thing I love collecting, just like something something that I do enjoy collecting, even though like online guides are so prominent now. I love collecting prima guides or like 
Brady game guides. You know, like the physical walkthroughs that you used to buy in like in like stores and stuff. But only for games that I really love. Like even if I know the game inside and out, that's usually full of like exclusive art. You know, that's where you can find a lot of really good uh, like map layouts and stuff for levels, and it looks really nice. I I have like a shelf of those. I'm half tempted to buy to like find the guide for this game. I don't know how expensive that would be. Ah, I don't know where I'm going, but this seems to be important. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm not worried about finding everything in this game. I'm just, ah! Yeah, get it. Oh, I'm dead. I'm a dead motherfucker. Yeah, okay. It's okay. Now I know that there are ghosts in there. And I could kill him with my ghost killing powers. <laughs> Continue. Getting boned. Nine, okay, is it just me or is this screen absolutely six, anxiety five, inducing? Four, three, with the like narrator definitely saying it faster than like those seconds are, and Jack being like, I need to hurry. This game has great music. Well, I'm not a fan of the covers of the songs like the during combat it does like a cover with like like it doesn't have the original version of like this is Halloween and one thing that does get me though is it it has um like all of if I if I'm not mistaken in what I'm hearing Danny Elfman did not come back to do the singing voice of Jack so if Chris Sarandon could have hit it the way that Danny Elfman wanted for the music and like Danny Elfman didn't replace him for the singing voice of Jack. The audio in this game is what we could have gotten for the movie, which is very interesting to me that like Chris Sarandon got a chance to voice the singing Jack. Danny Elfman is one of a kind. He certainly is. Look, I, I love when Danny Elfman... Oingo Boingo is a Oingo Bungo is dope. Oingo, I'm hit and miss on Oingo Boingo because like I think I think a lot of the stuff around Oingo Boingo is great. Like he's very much a sensationalist. Like I specifically think about the Oingo Boingo song. Um, what was it? I like little girls or whatever. I think it's just called Little Girls. Uh, because like that song is supposed to be sensationalized. Like it's supposed to be. Oh God, he's like. What is he talking about? That's crazy. Yeah, it's like, in the context of Danny Elfman just trying to fuck with people, that song is hilarious. However, if you don't know the context for the song, you fall victim to, like, the you become the butt of the joke. And... I don't know. It's It, it just seems like very... Context, yeah, it just seems very risque for, and you know, for the time too. Like, oh yeah, it's whatever. He's just, he's just fucking around. Any day now, I'm gonna be able to find my way into this building. There you go. I don't know entirely what's going on in here. But I know if I kill these guys, I get things. No, what are you doing? That's new wave for you. I miss the old wave. I 
There's so many ghosts. It's crazy. Yeah, like I, th this particular version of the song is not doing it for me, and yet it's the most prolific song in the game. I agree that like the music, like just the ambient music, is very in tone with everything else. But whenever there's a song with lyrics, it doesn't sound quite right to me. Like the song that played during the boss fight with uh, Dr. Finkelstein, like Jess Harnell does not sound anything like uh, William Hickey, the original voice actor for the Doctor. So that really threw me off. He has a he has a great voice. Like Jess Harnell has a great voice, but as a sound alike weird choice to me. I don't think he sounds like William Hickey. Do I have to do anything to like stop these waves of enemies or do they just stop eventually on their own? I guess I'll bust this last barrel. Let's get all the ghosts on one side of me. No? Seems better than blood. I'm not saying he's a bad singer, I'm just saying he has a, he has a very specific voice. Like, Jess Harnell um, has a, such a specific tonation and texture in a lot of the voices that he does, where I can't not hear him when he voices stuff. Like, I just recognize... Like, in, in Spyro 5, he plays, like, 75% of that cast. And every single one of them, I'm like, yeah, that's just him. All of that wasn't even for, like... All of all of that wasn't even for like there's a Spyro 5. Dude, there's like 10 Spyro games. There's the original trilogy for PS1 by Insomniac. The the property was bounced around for a bit and then it landed at uh Equinox's doorstep. It was like Equinox Digital and Check 6 were the two companies that like worked on How do I get down. How do I get down? cool um in 2000 so yeah the original trilogy from 98 99 and 2000 in 2002 there was a spiral 4 called spiral enter the dragonfly which i played on stream recently um and then there's spyro this is when activision finally got a hold of the property there's spyro a hero's tale which isn't bad ever played a single one it's like my favorite franchise i i i mess so hard with those games in general just like platformers that's like my thing i love a good platformer or a bad platformer so that's like kind of why this is speaking to me there's like some platforming stuff there's like collectibles and stuff that does that gives me serotonin that gives me the dopamine in the brain when i collect stuff Why did I go in here? This does absolutely nothing for me. Mario 64 is a good bla good bad platformer. I did not grow up with a lot of N64 games. I had one, but only had like two games. I basically I didn't grow up with Mario 64. Um but I have like this that Mario collection that came out 2 years ago that had like 64 Sunshine and um was it Galaxy? Like the Switch bundle that had the the that had all those This also is not correct. Where the fuck am I going? I got to find the pumpkin patch. But yeah, a long story short, having not grown up with Mario 64, I would agree. It's it's like it's very charming. Does a lot 
Oh, okay, that's just elsewhere now. Okay. It just gave me a different marker now. I would agree, though, that it, uh, it's good-bad. Like, I wouldn't mind maybe playing it on stream or something, but... Down here? Where am I going? I'm really... This is a bad map. Yeah, okay, so it's around the corner. It's at, um... Oh, that's right. Behemoth's Patch or whatever. Behemoth's Pumpkin Patch. Behemoth's Briars. Okay. That's right. I have been here. Aha. Uh -huh. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And then left trigger to it's like left trigger to activate, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Kill his ass. Last thing we hear before you die is Merry Christmas. Awful, terrifying, no good. Spooky, it's too spooky for me. I appreciate that these ghosts are kind of keeping their distance. But also, get over here so I can kill you. You're worth money to me. I can kill you for money, even. Can't escape into a wall. Okay. Stealing your pumpkin organs for cash. You wake up in a bathtub full of ice, your seeds are gone. Can I just like keep going? Can I ignore all these pumpkins? I'm just gonna like ignore this. Nah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Jack. Ignore them. I can't ignore them. Get out of here. I don't need this. Can't ignore your problems like Father Glove. I don't know who Glove is. I'm sorry if this is a reference I'm just not getting. I see Glove in your in your name. It's it's missing me. I R Glove. Hi. Good to meet you, Glove. Glad to have you in chat. You had that, you had that, um, you had that, that thing earlier in chat, I'm looking at it, is that like a, like a Fallout Super Mutant or like a Warhammer Orc? What am I looking at? Do I just drop down? Man, I'm stupid. Warhammer Orc, gotcha. Behemoth. The pumpkin patch is a mess. It's the bad news. 
They ruin it. Break the bridge. The big pumpkin head. That is it too. My precious pumpkin. They're adding a lot of lore into this game. The behemoth takes care of the pumpkin patch, you say? Hello? Testy! Testy! One, two, three! Am I on? Hey, Oogie. Denizens of Oogie Town, Jack has returned, according to the reports. <laughs> he's enjoying our dangerous Oogie Town so much, he's screaming in horror. Rejoice! This is all thanks to your efforts. <laughs> Baron, my star pupil, my prodigal son, my shining star. Be a good boy and finish the work. Your half-witted, half-pint, half-alive playmate could not. Because if you don't, there's more than half a chance. I'll be very, very, very angry! God, I wish we could have gotten more of that in the movie. More of more of Oogie g absolutely losing it. What is this? What is this? Oh, that's on the other side of the fence. Yeah, I can't reach that. All right, going around. Trying to figure out where I am and where I'm meant to go. 